Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I just want to take the time to tell you all thanks for subscribing. Thank you. So on today's menu, we will be making one of my favorite meal with a twist. So this came about while I was living in Japan and I couldn't get any pig's tail. And me love, love, love me some soupies. But so of course, I wasn't gonna live there all that time and just never eat it again. So when I finally found some peas, and some coconut milk it was on and popping and that's how i came up with stew peas with chicken so let's dive in on today's menu we will be making some stew peas with chicken white rice fried plantains and some veggies here are the ingredients that we will be using today so of course i had my peas soaking from overnight i'll be pressuring the peas in the pressure cooker because it's faster But let me add in some thyme and pimento. Not a lot, just a little something, something, you know. And just like that, it's done. Check the peas. By the way, I don't want the peas to be completely cooked because remember, I'll be cooking it with the chicken. So I just wanted it halfway there. Now let's work on our chicken. This part is optional. You can just add some brown into your chicken and not do this. So I'm gonna burn some sugar in the oil. This gives the chicken flavor and of course add a nice little color. Add some chopped garlic. Then I'll add in my chicken. Mix it up. Then you're gonna cover it for about two minutes and check back. Stir. And add a little water boiling water that is and I'm still gonna go ahead and add the brown in because I was strapped for time Beautiful. Let's prepare some added seasoning for the pot. So of course my beloved onions and sweet peppers. And guys, if you want, you can blend them out. And if because you know if you think they're gonna be chunky in your stew, but I'm telling you, they won't. I'm cutting them smaller than normal too. Let's add them to the chicken. That looks so good. Oh my. Oh man. Combine. No time for what adding with peas. Be sure to put the water in there too because it helps with the color. Mm. 
seeds coming along. Mm. Okay, let's add in our nice, nice coconut milk. Time. Skellion. And of course, some pimento. These are washed and clean. Make sure not unclean too. Now stir them up. Now we have to make some spinners. And yes, I start kneading my flour with a spoon. <laughs> this is how I was taught. Because this is how my mom does it. So yeah, I'm going to make flour with spoon. As in, you know, mix it up with spoon. And then when everything combined, then I use my hand and go in. Yeah. Spinning time. Wanna look palm apart. <laughs> See it look nice. Like a real real stew piece. <laughs> Look there. Look there. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Oh, I forgot to add some black pepper. I cook, cook some rice, you know. Rice done. Of course, stupid, cute, stupid need some fried planting. For your company, don't for nice it up, yeah. I tell you, I love fried plantain. Mm. All when it ripe like this, nice and sweet. all done and here we have it guys i am telling you if you feel for stew peas and not have no big tail no worry on yourself and it tastes good d -d 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 -d. what i say good honestly though we can get stew peas no hunting i still cook this because it tastes that good it tastes delicious i still cook this guys 
enjoy guys and let me know down in the comment section if you are going to try it thanks for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe god bless you my beautiful subbies